The Los Santos Summer Special Content Update has just dropped for GTA Online. And finally, yachts are actually useful for something. After dropping $6 million on a gorgeous yacht, you can now tackle special yacht missions. And finishing one will earn you a whopping $25,000 payout. We are truly blessed, Rockstar. Thank you so much. We were also blessed with a new collectible this update, so today we're going to take a look at all of the locations for the 10 movie props. By collecting all of them, you unlock this sweet alien costume, and if there's one thing I know about GTA Online, it's that people go nuts over aliens. Let's not waste any more time and get right into it. After installing the update, you'll receive this text message from Solomon, letting you know that there's been a robbery at his office. Go to the golden S on the map, and check out the situation. At that point, the 10 collectibles will spawn all over the map, and we could go find them. The first one didn't get very far. It's literally right outside of Solomon's office, beside some trash. Next, head southeast to the strip club in Strawberry. Once inside, speak to one of the dancers so you can gain access to the private back area. Power walk to this office here to find the second movie prop. From there, we head northeast to the Diamond Casino. The third prop is found beside one of the urinals in the men's restroom towards the back of the casino. Now we head north to this area in the Grand Sonora Desert. The next prop could be found on the porch of this house. From there, head east to this weird alien shrine thing in Sandy Shores. Appropriately enough, you'll find this alien prop. Head west to Fort Zancudo, where you'll find Fort Zancudo Tower. Head inside, and the next prop could be found resting behind the front desk. From Fort Zancudo, head a bit northeast to Chilean Mountain. The seventh prop could be found here, where the crazy cult people like to gather. Be careful, they might shoot you down for stealing back a movie prop that they stole, I guess? Now, the final three movie props aren't found at any single specific location like all the others. Instead, they are assigned to a general area, and after you wander these areas for a certain amount of time, you'll see a blue dot appear on the map. Where exactly this dot appears seems to be different for everyone. So, I can only show you in this video where it appeared for me, but I'll also point out some of the locations that others claimed it appeared for them. Either way, rest assured, the dot will appear in these three areas sooner or later, so just throw on a podcast and hang in there. That blue dot is a vehicle that you'll have to steal and drive to Solomon's Garage, and once delivered, you'll collect the movie prop. It's simple enough, just pray to God you don't get blown up by some griefer with an oppressor Mark II. So this is how I came across these three collectibles. In all three cases, I circled around the areas I'm about to go over for about 10 minutes, at which point a blue dot popped up on the map and I was able to steal the car. I've tried entering and exiting buildings to see if the dot would pop up faster that way, and I switched servers a bunch of times as well, but from my testing at least, none of these methods accelerated the process in any significant way. In all three cases, I still ended up just wandering around the area for 10 to 15 minutes, so I don't think doing those actions help, but I can't 100% confirm that. So here's the first area we'll go over, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I found my first car in the Pacific Bluffs, parked in the parking lot of the Quartz building. But as you can see, I'm passing by the parking lot now, and there's nothing there. It wasn't until I passed the parking lot and hung out here for a few seconds that the blue dot popped up on the map, and suddenly, the car appeared in that parking lot I just passed two seconds ago. So that's the stuff we're dealing with here, even if you don't see the car the first or second or tenth time driving around the area, it'll pop up eventually. Now, others have reported they saw the blue dot pop up in a couple of areas very close to the Quartz 
buildings such as the Epsilon Program Building near Rockford Hills, the Evangelical Jewelry Store in Rockford Hills, and the University just east of the Courts Building. So I just circled around the Pacific Bluffs, Richmond, West Vinewood, and Rockford Hills for about 10 minutes, and that's when the blue dot popped up for me. Then simply steal the car, deliver it, and you have movie prop number 8. The next semi-random spawn is near Lester's Garment Factory. For me, it appeared at Textile City, parked beside the Fabric Shop, which is just a few blocks away from Lester's. I was actually circling around Lester's when the blue dot appeared for me, because for others, they found this vehicle spawn right beside Lester's factory. So circle around Lester's, La Mesa, Pillbox Hill, Textile City, and basically this central downtown area of Los Santos, and the blue dot should pop up for you soon enough. Finally, for the final movie prop, we have to head all the way to the northern tip of the map to Polito Bay. We're basically going to go left to right to left to right over and over and over covering Polito Bay and this section of the highway north of Mount Chiliad. Eventually the blue dot appeared and it was actually a moving vehicle this time. Simply cut it off, steal it and deliver for that movie prop. Some others have reported the vehicle appeared for them, parked in the Polito Bay area, but again, as long as you're covering all this ground, that blue dot should appear somewhere in this general area, and then you're home free. You should come across these three semi-random spawns in no time, and then, congratulations, you have collected all 10 movie props. Pass by Solomon's office to drop them off, and you'll even get a bit of RP and cash for your troubles. Solomon will text you thanking you and inform you that he has a special token of his appreciation ready for pickup. Leave his office and re-enter, and you'll find a box. Inside is this. Oh yeah, the Space Interloper Outfit. This is easily one of the coolest outfits in this game, let's be completely honest. Just look at those alien butt cheeks. Look at them. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you like those butt cheeks and want to see more fun GTA Online videos like this one, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. There is a huge GTA Online update still on the way, and Red Dead Online coverage is in the works as well. So definitely look forward to all that coming soon. But until next time, thanks so much for watching everyone, and take care.